Hello there, I'm Black Bright, bringing you information and news, and if you like, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Today, another quick video. Um, you're going to need four pieces of ID if you want to fly um, anywhere. So um, this applies to the United States. I don't know if it applies to the UK at the moment, but I'm going to show you the video, and you can deduce from it what you may. You have both sides available, please. Step down. It's the daily crush. Two and a half million passengers surging through airport security checkpoints. Starting today, TSA officers now offering a friendly warning. Next year, make sure you have the star on your, your ID because you have to be in compliance with the Real ID Act. This won't be accepted next year, okay? As of October 1st, 2020, you won't be able to fly if your driver's license doesn't have a Real ID star in the top corner. With the clock ticking, state DMV offices are bustling. I know it's kind of hot outside, but be patient with us. It's cool inside, believe me. In Virginia, they've even deployed mobile DMVs to handle the load. Everybody required to prove their identity with four forms of ID. I brought my passport, so I have a valid passport. I brought my social security card. And two more, like a current driver's license, a utility bill, payroll stub, birth certificate, or military ID. If you've changed your last name, you'll need proof, a marriage or divorce certificate. It's not just flying, you're also going to need a real ID to enter a military base or even a government building. Don't wait till the last minute. And absolutely, when you come in, be prepared. Passed after 9-11, the real ID law creates a single national standard for all 50 states. It doesn't matter when your license expired. By October 2020, it has to be real ID compliant or you will not be permitted to fly. 13 months till the deadline, enough time to gather your documents. If you don't get a real ID, you'll need a military ID or passport just to fly inside the U.S. Tom Costello, NBC News, Herndon, Virginia. Well, what can I say? Um, my first thought is that, is this a way of encouraging people to get that chip in their hands? You know, because people are going to be saying, oh, I don't want to take all the ID around with me. You know, I, supposing I lose it, it's a valuable ID. You don't, want to be, you don't want to be walking around with valuable information like that. So I'm just wondering if it's a ploy to get people to get the chip, because if they get the chip, they won't need all those IDs. But you just never know. Like, I'm, I'm usually a skeptic. Um, so they're giving us 13 months notice. Like I said, anything that happens in the United States is bound to happen in the UK eventually. Um, so they're giving you notice as of October 2020 it's going to come in force. Anytime you fly, you're going to need four forms of ID, maybe even a little bit more if they're not sure. And I don't know what that star on the ID is supposed to signify, but you better look into that. Um, for you, those of you who are in America, what that star, star actually means and how you get it. Um, so, yeah, you need passport, driving license, um, bank statement. What else did they say? Social security card, birth certificate. If you've changed your last name, you need all that kind of information. If you've been divorced, you need that kind of information. I mean, bloody hell. People won't even want to fly sooner enough. But, I mean, it's quite a lot of information to have. Normally, your passport is sufficient. Why isn't your passport sufficient anymore? Your passport, when you go, that is that contains biometric data. It proves it's you. So why are they supplementing it now by asking all these for the, all this other information? It doesn't make any sense. Well... It probably makes sense to them because I guess you could have a passport, but then maybe something else is dodgy in your life. Because what are they asking for? Social security card as well. So social security card means that you're, you can work in the United States. Driver's license, birth certificate. I mean, bloody hell, that is a lot, that is a lot to ask. Anyway, just putting you on notice, peeps, not a long one now. I mean, that, that video says it all. And yeah, so be prepared. You've got 13 months to comply. That's all for now. Bye-bye.